Welcome to TV TV Sport for the start of the 2024-2025 competitive season. Wow, time flies, eh? So I've decided to kick off this campaign at Hanworthy United. And who do I bump into? None other than the Gold Diggers, who are quite happily sat there doing the introduction to their blog. And some idiot walks past and goes, Alright guys, how you doing? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Just in case you're unaware or in case you're new to non-league football and whether United have been through the ringer in the last season, their stand was condemned and had to be blocked off, they had to play their away matches in Weymouth and eventually had to withdraw from the Southern League Division 1 South. This season they aim to rise like a phoenix and the chief fanner of the flames is this guy coming up now. Like all the other guys that work in the background, Andy James has been working like a trojan for the last god knows how long, dragging sponsors in to keep the club afloat. In a rare TBTV interview, I asked Andy to elaborate on what he's been up to. What do you do? Do you, you either give up or you, you, know, you roll your sleeves up and come out fighting? So we're back. Team's going to take a little while to develop, you know, but we're back on the first day, really excited. Ground looks amazing, so many people to thank for that. Um, you know, but the sponsors, we, you know, who walk, you know, in your time of need, you find out who your friends are and you find out how you've been, you know, how you've sort of like been as a club over the last 20, 30 years. And we think we've been a good club and looked after people. And people come out, you know, local, local businesses have, you know, supported us, you know, Minster Homes. You know, John Bale can't thank you enough. Um, Store and secure stand looks great. Yeah. You know, you see all the lads and nice new tractors on the day with um, Mike Baker, sponsor club for long time NGP windows. And also Coastal Ledger will be on the back of the shirt today. Coastal Ledger are the Basin family, been involved with the club for 20, 30 years again as well. So bringing those people back on board is really important. Okay. But just seeing people have, you know, the smile of expectation, you know, but with a slight bit of realism is so important, you know, today to see people back and knowing we're back in, we have a way forward, it may take time but we're back. When I sat down with Steve and Bruce and the board at the time and just said if we don't get our social and our commercial link we just will pack up and go home. So I have four guys in the social media team um, and others have done stuff so Chris Miller, um, Ed Crumpler, Charlie Griffiths does the video, Josh Buckle, who was here for the radio before, he lives in London but still does a lot of our graphics, all, you know, all give their time for free. So am I a natural? No, I just sort of like steer the ship and Tell them, tell them like, what, what do I think we need. They tell me I'm an old duffer, and then how about this? And I said, yeah, that looks good, and off we go with it. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you, Luke. Well, it's an absolute credit. We're what, 20 minutes away from kickoff, so I'll sort myself out. Great to see you again, and I hope to be here a bit more during the season. Thanks, Tony. We're delighted to have you back, and you know you're welcome anytime, mate. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, mate. Cheers, Cheers. Tony. Thank you, mate. <laughs> and like buses, TBTV interviews come along two at a time. Next up, Bruce Scammell, club president. Bruce, what's your feelings today? Oh, I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, nice to get back playing. Um, back in the Wessex where we were years ago. So, uh, yeah, happy days, you know, on and off the pitch. So, uh, yeah, football comes around a bit early, but so what? You know, it's got to start <laughs> somewhere, so uh, bring it on. Thank you, Dookie. Uh, I guess over the last season it's been... It's been tough in the background and you've been pulling the pulling the, the new team together. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you know what it was like in those sort of more dark and dingy days? Well obviously it was big decisions had to be made, you know, it was frustrating how it came about, but um, the club had to come first and um, you know, we all stuck together and uh, obviously knew that a, a rebuilding job had to take place at some place, you know. Last season was frustrating because obviously our first team was our second team in the DPL, but you know, we've been there before, so um, it just it just gave us that um, uh, base to kind of build again, you know. But lots been going on behind the scenes, you know. Um, the board of directors have just been absolutely magnif magnificent, you know. Everybody knows, you know, Andy James has done miracles for us, you know, but there's another team behind the pitch as well and we've all been sticking together, so uh, happy days, happy days. Absolutely. And if I might be so bold on the first day of the season, what's, what's the aspirations, do you think? Uh, well, three points would be nice and then I can perhaps get the beers in for them, you know, but uh, we've got a young side, uh, you know, there's a few players not available at the moment, but then that's the time of year, so uh, we'll see what happens, you know. Um, but yeah, 
three points would be nice to have a good start, you know, but uh, it's the unknown a little bit. We don't know what Foley is going to be like, but uh, they probably don't know what we're going to be like, but uh, Brilliant. it's going to happen. That's the main thing. Thank you, Nicky. Well, I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you for it. Lo lovely to see you here again, and thank you for all your support for non-league football. You're, Wonderful. You're Wonderful. more than welcome, mate. Lovely. Right. Thank you. The Enjoy the game. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Okay, let's have a look at your starting 11s. And what better way to get the season started than with a hefty challenge. The Hammers started the match on the front foot, with West dribbling through and coming close. Next up was Toby Diaz, forcing a clearance off the line. Pollens then hit back with the straightest ball you've ever seen in your life. Callum Dart latches onto the through ball quicker than a British Patriot raiding Greggs, taking it round Muggeridge and placing the ball into the back of the net. 1-0. Undeterred, Hanworthy kept on creating the chances mainly down the right wing, and how they didn't score, I have no idea. Oh, and there was a bit of a penalty shout. See what you think of this. Let me know in the comments. There wasn't a massively strong appeal and the referee said no. As you can see, it's just wave after wave of handworthy attacks, and credit has to go to the Follins' defence. Anyway, we're in the second half, and it's pretty much business as usual. Yeah, 
Okay, this is a bit of a lengthy clip, but keep your eyes on the Fallen Sports number 10, Callum Dart. He goes down and stays down, but the referee says play on. So, however, play on. <laughs> now, with Dart still on the ground, and with you still playing on, and the keeper gets the ball. Now, listen to the referee's whistle. A few minutes later. So, with Dart having had a little chat with a physio, I don't think there was actually any treatment, he's back on his feet and plays about to resume. Now, the referee's whistle went before the keeper had thrown the ball. So I was expecting a drop ball or play on from the keeper or something, but he's given the throw in. And that leads to some pretty unhappy chaps in Mint Green. <laughs> Bailey Rowe latches onto the throw and lobs it over the onrushing keeper. Yes, yeah, a bit of a strange one, that, isn't it? <laughs> And from a fallen perspective, the injustice didn't stop there. Callum Dart, having been the player that was on the ground in the first place, then gets sent off to the sim bin for 10 minutes. as they might, the Hammers couldn't take advantage of the extra man. Or could they? No, they couldn't. No. <laughs> We started the match with a hefty challenge, so let's close the match with a hefty challenge. <laughs> And that is a wrap on the first competitive fixture of this season. I do hope you've enjoyed the footage. If you have, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you have, you should know by now that I want you to share and comment and like and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. See you later.